Hello and welcome back to another Keep Moving with Emily. I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer, helping you keep moving. And today we are doing a high intensity, a uh, full body strength workout with some core blasts after each interval. So we're really focusing on strength, lower body really being the uh, focus with a little bit of upper body. I've got some TheraBands, some mini loops, and some weights, as well as a mat. I also turned on a fan. So grab your equipment and let's get warmed up. Warm up is up on the screen. We're gonna start off with an arm opener with a side step. Here we go. This workout is gonna be super fun. It's gonna be pretty quick, about a 20 minute workout. So, you know, if you've got not much time, this is the workout for you. Good, let's go for three, two, and one. Nice, let's go for knee raises. I'm reaching arms up to the sky, driving the knee up. Warming up those shoulders, warming up our core. Get in a nice dynamic warm up before we get started. Perfect, if you don't have any of this equipment, that is okay. Um, we can also do without. One more on each side, nice. Hamstring curls, I'm touching opposite hand to that opposite heel. Getting a nice stretch in the quad, working those hamstrings, still getting that blood pumping. Working our brain a little bit too, good. Curl that heel up, touch that hand to the heel. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Spinal twist, so I'm just twisting across the body, a little bit of a pivot in that foot, warming up the core, warming up the spine. You got it. Nice. Three, two, and one. Perfect, moving on to knee, knee hugs. So we're gonna grab that knee, hug the knee, point and flex the toe and switch. We're working our balance a little bit, warming up those hips. Good, nice little pull. You can also do this more dynamic and like walk around your space if that feels good to you. Perfect, let's go one more on each side. Pull and pull, nice. Moving on to those hamstring scoops. So you're gonna extend one foot out in front of you, hinge at the hips, scoop down, big arms up. I like to do this one walking, if that works for you. If not, you're just alternating. Feels really good in those hamstrings as you hinge down, reaching towards that toe, and then big scoop. Perfect. You got it. We're doing about three or four reps on each side. One more on each side. Good, last one here. Perfect. We're doing what's called a hacky sack jack. So I'm touching opposite hand to that opposite foot. A little internal rotation in the hip. Again, work in the brain as we touch opposite hand to that opposite foot while turning that heel up. Feels good in the hips. A little stretch in the glutes. Perfect. You might be feeling a little out of breath. That's the point. We're getting that blood pumping, warming up our body. Three two, and one. Perfect. Last one is called a skier. Essentially, we're gonna reach arms up overhead. Exhale, tiny little squat and swing those arms. Good. Nice little stretch. And ski those arms as you squat it down. Five more. Five, four, three, reach, two, and one, perfect, all right. Jog it out if you need to, stretch anything else that you need. Make sure you've got your equipment and let's get started with round number one. All right, we've got our exercises up on the screen. The equipment that you're gonna wanna have, if you've got a TheraBand, awesome. If not, you can always use weights. What we're gonna be doing is we're working for 60 seconds, resting for 20. We've got five exercises of strength up on the screen, a quick little core blast, and then we'll move on to our next round so we're moving quickly through these so i'm going to quickly demo what we're doing alternating lunge with the lat pull is first arms are up overhead with that theraband up overhead as i lunge backwards i'm pulling that theraband towards my chest and alternating nice lunge keeping that knee from going over that front foot we'll be there for 60 seconds working some muscular endurance so once you kind of figure it out we're not going for speed we're going for quality, all right? Then we got a squat press with a knee raise. So you're gonna wanna grab both of those weights. You're gonna squat down, booty comes back. As I stand and press, 
one knee comes up overhead. So you can do both arms. You can do opposite arm, opposite knee. That's up to you. You can also do single, single, double press. Kind of up to you. Shoulders, knees, balance, lower body. Cool? Then we got banded squat walks. Couple of options. If you have a long TheraBand, you're gonna put it underneath those feet and essentially do a nice little squat walk. My TheraBand's too, too short. Your other option is you're gonna have your loop or tie that band in a circle. You're gonna wrap it around those knees and you're gonna do really slow, tiny little squat walks. Don't let that resistance uh, go loose, all right? And then we've got banded leg raises. So you're gonna keep that band on around those thighs and you're just gonna go out to the side. Halfway, we'll switch. All right, you're gonna work that booty with this band. If you don't have a band, no worries. You're gonna do those squat walks without the band and you're gonna do that leg raise without the band. That's totally fine too. And then finally is a surrender. So you're gonna make sure you have carpet or a yoga mat or something with you, but you're gonna start on those knees Sitting up nice and tall. Now you can add weight to make it more challenging, but you're gonna bring one foot up, push through that leg, stand, go back onto the knees and alternate which leg stands you up. Again, those weights up overhead or on your shoulders will make it much more challenging. So if you're ready, get those weights, get those TheraBands handy, and we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Grab that TheraBand or those weights, and we're doing that alternating lunge with a pull. Again, we work for 60 seconds. Rest for 20, arms up overhead, core is engaged, let's go. Step back, pull that band towards your chest and push back up. We're working our back along with glutes and quads. Here we go. Reach, pull that weight towards your chest. Compound exercise here, which means we're working multiple muscles at the same time, burning lots of calories, working that brain, we're working that lower body and upper body. Let's go, keep it up. Keep breathing. More than halfway there. We're alternating right, left, right, left. Hopefully you have a fan on because it is gonna get hot in here. Making sure that knee doesn't go over that front foot, front knee, or that front toe. <laughs> here we go. 10 seconds. This is challenging our balance. Quads, glutes core and upper body. Last one, pull and reach. Woo. Good. Grab those weights. One weight, two weights. You decide on how heavy. We only have 20 seconds of rest, so find your weights. I'm going to use eight pounds. Next exercise is up on that screen, so we got squats with a press and a knee. Let's go. Squat it down, stand up, press. One knee comes up. Squat, stand, other knee. You got it. Working that balance. Working those shoulders. Working those quads, glutes. Let's go. We're not going for speed here. Quality, friends. You're also working your core because you got to keep that core nice and strong as you Press the weights up to the sky. If we're only going to get in 20 minutes of workout, we're going to make it count. Let's go. You hear me breathing loud. I'm sure you are too. You got 10 seconds. Last one here. Press it up. Perfect. Rest. Grab that TheraBand. I'm going to use a, band, a booty band or this loop, just because that's what we're using for the next two exercises. Slip that weight around your legs and get ready. We're starting in three, two, one, let's go. So banded squat walks. I'm in a low squat, couple steps to the right, couple steps to the left. Notice I'm not letting that tension come back together. Good, get low, booty comes back, come on. My arms are out in front, if you want those weights up to your shoulders. If you have a TheraBand with loops, you're just gonna hold them here into like a bicep curl. Stay low, let's go. Working the booty, we're moving laterally, 
Couple steps to the right, couple steps to the left. Hang on to it, you got 20 seconds left. Good, maybe you get to the end. You can always stand, take a quick break. You got 10 seconds left, hang on to it. Feel the burn. We're gonna do a little bit more booty burn. Woo, we're not done yet. Rest, quick little shake out. Now we've got those banded leg raises. Again, if you don't have that band, no worries. We're just lifting the leg up to the sky. I want you to be in a little bit of a squat if you can. Again, we're going for 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Muscular endurance, baby, let's go. Sink it down, raise that leg up. Squeeze. We're working a little bit of balance here. If you need to hang on to something, go for it. Up and squeeze. Tiny little bend in this leg. Hang on, 15 seconds left, and then we'll switch sides. You feeling the booty burn? Oh yeah. Three, two, one, switch sides, let's go. Woo, you think this side's the only one working. This leg that's doing the stabilizing is also working, hang on to it. Can you give me 20 seconds? We're challenging our balance. We're working our core, we're working the booty, Outer thigh, inner thigh, quads, let's go. This next transition, you're gonna grab that mat, take off the booty band, and we got surrenders. If you wanna have weights, go for it. I'm gonna stick without them. Booty band comes off, quick transition here. Grab that uh, mat. I'm gonna kinda double my mat up just because it gives me a little bit more support on my knees. Um, so. You know your body, if you've got carpet, great. We're gonna go starting on the knees with those surrenders. Here we go, I'm gonna start on my knees. Again, if you wanna hold a weight, weight's up overhead, that's up to you. One leg kinda comes out in front like you're doing a lunge. Stand up, back down, switch which leg, stand you up. It's essentially like you're doing a single leg squat. Again, weights can be here, weights can be up overhead. That's gonna be much more challenging. Sometimes I like to hold one weight. Good. Ooh, this one's good for cardio. Or hands can be up, opening up the chest nice and big. Nice. You feeling it? I know, me too. We're gonna stick with this mat because we got a core blaster, 30 seconds each of the exercises up on the screen. Two minutes of core. And then we're gonna kinda do this all again with some different exercises. Can you give me 10 more seconds? Oof. Feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Whew, grab that mat, grab a weight, lay it on the floor, grab a swig of water, and we'll get started shortly. All right, find yourself to your mat. We are starting, we've got four exercises for core. Starfish, alternating the up weighted sit up and a plank. So just grab one weight. You're gonna drop it to your mat. Starfish are one of my favorite exercises. You're gonna lay all the way back. Exhale, hug those knees, down and up. Make sure you're using your breath. That's like your power breath, okay? Then we've got alternating V up. So I'm gonna flat on my back, opposite arm to opposite leg. I'm gonna crunch up, touch those hands to opposite leg and come back down, working those obliques. Then we've got a weighted sit up. That's why you've got your weight. Inhale down, exhale up for that weighted sit up. And then we've got a plank, flip it over onto those forearms, keeping the core nice and strong. 30 seconds of each, quick transitions through. Are you ready? Let's get started with that starfish. We got 10 seconds, so get your mind right. 10 seconds, we'll get started. Again, we kind of start laying on our back, arms and legs kind of out like you're a starfish. Exhale, hug those knees, inhale, come down. Good. Full core exercise here. Inhale down, exhale up. Here we go. Halfway there. You got this. 10 seconds left. Quick transition to that alternating V up. Three, two, one, good. Lay it down. This time opposite hand touches that opposite foot or ankle. 
Here we go. Again, use that breath. Inhale down. Exhale up. Lift those shoulder blades up off the ground. Go at your own pace. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. Really reach to the opposite side of that leg or foot. 10 seconds left. Then you're going to grab that weight. Do weighted sit-ups. Three, two, one. Quick rest. Good. We're moving on to that weighted sit-up. Weights at our chest. Let's go. Exhale. Elbows to those knees. If you need to reach that weight up, give you a little bit of oomph, do it. More challenging. Hang on to that weight. Ooh, use that core. Get you all the way up. As you breathe out, you're engaging those core muscles. Come on. Drop the weight. Flip it over. We've got planks. You got 30 seconds of a plank. Forearms are a flat. Back is flat. Let's go. Hold. Perfect. Squeezing those glutes. Squeezing those shoulders. Squeezing the core. If you need to drop it to the knees, you can embrace that core nice and strong. Can you give me 15 more seconds? Come on, I'm counting this down in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Quick break, and then we've got four or five more exercises of strength and one more set of core. Let's go. All right, I hope you grabbed your water. New exercises are up on the screen. Same idea. We're working for 60 seconds, resting for 20, quick transitions through each one, and then we got one more core blaster and then we'll call it a day. So we've got deadlifts to a row, so make sure you've got some fairly heavy weights. Deadlifts are gonna work our glutes and our hamstrings. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knee. Hinging forward, back stays flat, and then I'm gonna row, pull the weights up to my hip pockets, lower and stand. Hinge, row, and stand. We're working glutes, hamstrings. That's where we should feel it, not in our lower back. Then you're gonna drop it to one weight. We've got side lunges with an upright row. We're gonna go 30 seconds on one side, then 30 seconds on the other. So, opposite hand is gonna reach down to that opposite leg that's kind of pushing those hips down. As I stand, feet together, upright row. Down, upright row, okay? If that feels like too much, just stick with this side lunge. If you wanna pull that elbow high for that upright row, go for it. We'll switch halfway. This is working our inner thighs and our glutes for that side leg, side lunge. All right, then we've got a single leg balance with curls. Again, we're working 30 seconds. So we've got single leg balance and we're curling and we'll switch halfway. If you wanna do opposite knee while you curl opposite arm, that's fine too. Kind of decide what feels good to you. If you need a little bit of extra balance while you're doing this curl, then I want you to hang on to something, okay? And then we've got a banded squat pulse. So you're gonna throw that band back on. If you don't wanna do banded, that's fine. You're just gonna kind of squat pulse and stand. Squat pulse and stand. The band just adds extra resistance to work that booty a little bit more. Then finally, we're doing inchworms with a push up. It's gonna be pretty challenging working those hamstrings, working the shoulders. I'm gonna be at the end of my mat, walk my hands out all the way. I'm gonna drop it to my knees, do a push up, and then push through those toes and stand all the way back up, squeezing the glutes and stand. Full body exercise, working the hamstrings, shoulders, core, a little bit of everything, and then we'll finish with the core blast up on the screen. Cool? All right, we're starting with that deadlift with a row, so make sure you got some of those heavy weights, and we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Here we go. Again, shoulder width apart with those feet, slight bend in the knees, roll those shoulders down and back. We're hinging forward, good. And then I'm pulling the weights up to my hip pockets, lower, up and squeeze. So dead lift, row, up and stand. Back stays flat. Don't let that back curve. I should feel nice pulling those hamstrings. Good. Hinging forward, pushing the booty back. Pull weights up. Stand and squeeze. Good. I like to think about squeezing my butt before I stand. 
You'll really feel it. Good. I don't need to reach all the way to my toes, because as I hinge forward, I'm gonna feel that pull in my hamstrings. That's where I should stop. So if you're touching those weights to the floor, you're probably not doing it right, or you've got crazy flexibility. <laughs> Let's go. 15 seconds left. Hinge, row, stand it up and squeeze. Couple more, friends. Good. Feel nice and sweaty, I hope. Last one here. Hinge, row, and stand. Beautiful, drop one weight. We're doing that side lunge, then with that upright row. So I like to keep my legs kind of nice and wide. As I go down, I'm pushing those hips down with this weight. Are you ready? We're starting in three, two, one. So I'm reaching down as I stand, pulling that weight high. Step, down, good. If the step doesn't work for you, you just stay wide and stand up and pull. Push those hips back. Good. The other leg kind of stays nice and long, feeling a nice stretch. If you can add in that step, you're going to really feel it in the glutes. One more here. Nice. We're switching sides. Other side. This time I'm coming down and pull. Good. Or we just stay nice, like wide legs. Push that hat back. Glute should be coming out. Weight comes up high. Good. Got it. Can you give me 10 more seconds? We can do anything for 10 seconds. Come on. Last one here. Down and up. Whew, rest. Good. All right, we got single leg balance with the curl. Again, if you need to have some extra balance, Hang on to something, a wall. Whatever leg is balancing, hang on to the wall that way, okay? And then we're curling. We're working the biceps along with our balance, and then we'll switch halfway. You ready? Find your balance. Let's go. Good. So maybe I'm just here. Maybe I'm hanging on to something. Maybe I'm using both weights. It's up to you. Good. Focus on a point that's steady, that will help with your balance. 10 more seconds on this side, and then we switch. You're getting there, we're close. Switch sides, find your balance, and curl. Maybe you notice, whoop, one side is stronger than the other. That is okay. Can you give me 20 more seconds? Feel that ankle mobility. Work as you work that balance. Keeping that knee up if you can. 10 seconds to go. Stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Drop that weight. Put on that booty band if you've got some time. We are working our booty with that banded squat with a little bit of a pulse. Maybe you're just doing a squat with a pulse. Maybe you're just doing the squat with the band. All right, we got a minute. A minute of work. Let's go. So squat, tiny pulse, and stand. Squat, pulse. You want to make it harder? Add in a weight. Add in two weights. Good. From the side, hips are coming back. Tiny pulse, and stand. Feet stay flat on the floor. Good. Squat, pulse, stand. Let's go. You can also do a wall sit. It's a great option where you're sitting against the wall. I'll show you. I keep working. 90 degree bend in that, those knees. And you can stay here. This is going to work some muscular endurance too as you hold. This is what you call an isometric hold. Great option too. If squats might hurt, this might feel a little bit better. You got 10 more seconds. Stay strong. And then we got those inchworms. We're gonna finish with a full body. Woo, strength. Three, two, one. Nice. All right. Just think, inchworms, you'll probably do like five to 10 if you're like super hardcore. Get to the end of your mat. The goal is to keep those legs as straight as possible for as long as possible, working the hamstrings. As we walk it out, push up, walk it back. You ready? Let's go. One minute of work here for this inchworm. Walk it out into that high plank. 
You can do that full push-up if you are strong like that. And then you're gonna walk it up, squeezing the glutes as we stand. Very similar to that deadlift. Walk it up. Walk it up. Push up, work in the chest, shoulders. Good. Now I'm still recovering from an Achilles rupture injury, so I'm modifying a little bit. But you do you. You got this. This is why I call this a high intensity workout. Can you tell? <laughs> why? You're going to be sore tomorrow. Think of me, Emily, your trainer. It's just because I love you and I want you to get stronger. We got to keep moving. Let's go. Can you give me one more? Last one. Walk it out. Do that push up. Stay there. Boom. Woo. Stay here on your mat. We got that core blast and we'll call it a day. All right, friends, here we are. Final two minutes of work. We've got this core blast. We've got bicycles, um, butterfly setups, and then bird dogs, which is gonna work kind of opposite arm, opposite leg. We're working for 30 seconds, real quick transitions through each one, about five seconds. Um, and so bicycles, we're on our back. Knees are at 90 degrees in the air. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Nice, slow and controlled, keeping the shoulder blades up off the ground really engaging in the core, working those obliques. Then we got butterfly sit-ups. So you're gonna put those heels together. Knees come out wide, arms come out, exhale, reach for those toes, okay? Use your breath. I promise it will help give you that oomph to get up, okay? And then we got bird dogs. We're gonna be in like a tabletop position. Opposite arm, opposite elbow to that opposite knee. So you're gonna extend long, right arm out, left leg out, or vice versa. We're here for 30 seconds. Maybe for the last 10, I'll have us hold, extending that, and then we'll switch sides, cool? And then we'll be done. It's gonna go by so fast. Get your mind right, we got bicycles starting in 10 seconds. So, laying on our back. Knees are at 90 degrees. Shoulder blades up off the mat. And I'm going opposite knee, opposite elbow. I want you to go nice and slow. You're gonna really feel it. We're not going for speed here. Sometimes I think when we go super fast, you're actually not working your core. It's like weird movements. So when we slow down any movement, whether it's a squat, bicep curl, bicycles, you're really recruiting all those muscles that we're trying to work. Are your shoulder blades up off the mat? Five, four, three, two, one, whoo, and Bottoms of your feet together, knees are out wide, butterfly sit-ups, let's go. Exhale, touch those toes all the way back. Use that breath. Touch those hands behind your head and then exhale. Kind of gives you a little bit of momentum. Halfway. Then we're gonna flip it onto our knees into that tabletop to finish with bird dogs. Notice that a lot of our exercises are working our brain and our body. That is what I like to do. Good, flip it over. Pick a side. I'm going right leg, left arm. Bring it together, elbow to knee, and then extend, squeeze. So hold for a couple of seconds, hold for a couple of seconds. Good, feel it in the glute, feel it in the shoulder, feel it in your core. I want you to hold it out. Hang on to it, squeeze. Nice straight lines, like you're trying to reach for the wall. Touch those toes to the back wall. Three, two, one, nice. Quick rest, other side, other leg, other arm. Ready? Let's go, extend, pull it together, and then reach. Good. Woo, feel that burn. Are you ready to hold? Let's go, extend, reach. Reach for that wall in front of you. Point that toe behind you. Squeezing the glute, core is nice and strong. Arms are shaky, legs are shaky. Three, two, one. Friends, we did it. Let's stretch it out. All right, woohoo, we did it. Nice quick 20 minute workout. Sweaty, feeling strong. Time to stretch it out. So when, as we're stretching, I want you to just like focus on nice, big, deep breaths. So we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings. One leg is extended out long, 
Maybe you can reach for that toe. Maybe it's just your shin, ankle. I want you to just breathe nice, big, deep breaths as we stretch out this hamstring. Good, feeling a nice stretch in the back of that leg. If you can reach for those toes and pull the toe up, you'll get a little bit of that calf stretch in. One more big deep breath in and out here. And exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Let's switch sides. Other legs extended and reach. Sometimes I like to add in a nice big arm reach, getting a little bit of a stretch in the back. I just want you to feel proud of yourself for taking time for yourself. Get strong. Challenge yourself physically, mentally. Hopefully by the end of this workout, you're feeling you know, maybe your mood's boosted. I don't know how you came to this workout, um, but I often find exercise is just like a really great way to channel energy or frustrations or stresses in life. Um, this is a healthy place to channel it. Good. Let's bring those heels together. Let those knees drop, getting a nice stretch in that inner thigh. If you're able to pull those heels in or push the knees down, listen to your body. You should feel nice and good in that inner thigh, especially after those side lunges. Stretching, we really want to make sure that we do at the end of a workout so we don't, you know, have any soreness the next day or it helps reduce some soreness. Good. One more big breath in and out. Good. Extend those legs all the way out in front. I want you to pick a side. I'm going to pick my right side. I'm going to place that ankle on top of my left knee and then I'm going to pull that knee up. So I'm doing like a nice little figure four stretch. I kind of like to play with the angle in which. You know, if I scoot my butt closer to my heel or if I drop that foot, I feel a nice stretch in my glute and my hips. So you decide what feels good to you. This is a stretch you can also do from a chair. So if you need seated stretches, I've got tons of exercises and videos for seated stretching as well. Big breath in. And as we exhale, lengthen those legs long, switch sides. So the other ankle goes on top of that thigh, pull that heel up. Good. Maybe you notice one side's tighter than the other. Listen to your body as you stretch. It's a great way to become a little bit more aware of what our body needs. Good. Perfect. One more big breath in and out. Lengthen those legs. Perfect. Let's go into tabletop. So kind of roll it onto the knees. We're on our knees and our hands. Arch the back up like you're an angry cat. Exhale, belly comes to the floor, kind of looking up. Just do a couple rounds at your own pace. Inhale, arch the back up. Nice stretch in the shoulders. Exhale, belly comes towards the floor. Nice stretch in the core. One more. You're going to push through those toes, push through the palms into a downward dog. Hips come to the sky. Nice little stretch in the calves if you can. Feels good in the hamstrings too. Bend in the knees. One foot comes in between the other hands, the other foot follows. So we're kind of in like a forward fold, getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings. Woo. Maybe you grab those elbows and you sway from side to side like a nice little rag doll here. If you need to place hands on top of your thighs, you can as you slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Woo, feeling a little dizzy. Good. We're going to get a stretch in those quads, so grab onto a wall if you need to. Grab a hold of that foot. Pull the heel up. Nice stretch in the quad. Good. Switch sides, so maybe we switch which hand is hanging onto the wall. Feels so good in the front of our leg in that quad. Good. Exhale, place the foot on the floor. Big arms up, up overhead. Grab a hold gently to one wrist. Maybe we lean to one side. Reach it up to the sky. Gently grab the other wrist. Stretching in those obliques, the lats. Exhale it out. Grab hands behind your back. Open up the chest. Big breath in and out. One more time. Exhale. Shake it out. One arm comes across our body. Rotate in the wrist, getting a nice stretch in the back of that arm. Now, if you need to stretch anything else for a little bit longer, please do that. Listen to your body. This is just kind of helpful guided stretching. Open up the arms nice and big, other side. 
but I'm so glad you joined me. Make sure you join me back for another Keep Moving with Emily. Tons of exercises on my high intensity playlist, so go check that out. But if you're having like a slower day or if you're recovering from an injury, I also have a lot of options that you can do seated. So whatever your level of ability, you can keep moving. Shake it out. One more big breath in up overhead. Exhale it out. Show those muscles. Share with a friend. And I will see you back at another Keep Moving with Emily. Bye.